there are two things that I really want you to apply to this workout to make it effective. The first one is failure. Failure um, it isn't, I don't want every set to be near failure, but if you can, failure is basically, if you're doing a set, you couldn't get another rep out. Or another way of looking at that is, we call it RPE. And basically RPE means rate of perceived exertion. So how hard on a scale of one to 10 do you think you're working? 10 RPE would mean you have no reps left in the tank. So eight RPE would be two reps left in the tank and then right down to one, which would be a very easy warm up set. But before I continue that, make sure you apply that rule correctly because there's a lot of bros out there that say, you know, all my workouts are 10 RPE. Yet when your mate says, you know, you come to the end of your perceived set and your mate goes, well, give me five more and you can do five more. That wouldn't be an RPE 10. You know what I mean? You're actually mistaken. That'd actually be quite an easy set. So the, the thing you need to apply is be close to failure. And it doesn't mean that every set should be taken to the 10, but you really want to be between seven and nine. The, the magic area is about eight or nine, okay? Um, and then on, the, on the last uh, set that you do, aim for a 10. Go right to failure, go right into it. The second rule is time under tension. There'll be certain movements in today's workout that I will, I will make you do specifically to get as much time and tension on the muscle. So basically time and tension means, I've said that three times now, basically means is how long is the muscle spent under load? So, if you were doing a squat, I'll just give you a demo. So you do a squat, and if you were to lock out at the top, now my quads and hamstrings and glutes aren't loaded anymore. Whereas if I come down, squat, halfway up, back down, the muscles stay loaded or stay loaded for longer. So this is time and attention, and I will apply that in today's workout. There is 10 stations, five upper body, five lower body, but it's in a circuit fashion, so you, you would go lower, upper, lower, upper, and repeat for the whole 10 exercises. The, the circuit is to be done three times, and the total rep ranges is anything below 20 reps. This will be the beginner entry level, so you want to go knee down, chest up. Okay, if you wanted to make that a little bit more advanced, we can again get that soft knee going rather than straighten the knee every time to give you that leg rest. Now a more advanced option would be the knee higher and again aim for 20 reps. On any of the single leg exercises you'll need to do both legs within that station before you move on to the next exercise. If we're in this box position, your hands are here, you drop your chest in between your hands, so you're trying to fill that space with your chest. The better you are at this, you can walk your hands out, and if you're finding that easy, obviously, then you can go straight into a push-up. Um, for the harder option, what you need is obviously a raised surface. For, for me, this is going to be a little bit easy, so I'm going to go right up here, the hardest option. Move that out of the way, that might start. And then you drop your chest near the floor. underneath the sofa and then a common mistake I see people here is they hinge over with the hips and then really the, the hamstrings aren't active what you need to do is almost keep your glutes turned and active and then load out and you'll find it a million times harder so one two three four five and as soon as you give in push back up and the idea with this is, is you want to use the push-up as minimum as possible and make the hamstrings work as much as possible. So for anybody that's really struggling, one thing you can do here is actually use your hands the whole way through the movement. If you've got your feet underneath the sofa, you place your hands as far down to reach and you're slowly getting that stretch, keeping your glutes squeezed and then slowly push up and keep pulling with the hamstring, keep pulling with the hamstring. So you're just trying to do, oh, you're just trying to do... We've got two options here, so we've got the beginner, entry level, and you still want to push with your triceps. A big mistake you see here is people squatting and lifting their hips. Really, you want to load into the, the elbows and push down. Now, to make that harder, bring your legs out to straight. A more advanced option is if you can find something similar setup to this. Feet on both of them. Um, the lower you go, 
This is the beginner entry level pistol squat. Still a challenging exercise. The lower you go, the more challenging it's going to be. So we start a little bit higher on the sofa. So let's move that way. Um, hands out in front. Sit down. Stand up. Sit down. Stand up. And most of those 12 reps should get pretty sore, pretty tough. Then, if we start to, if we can get more advanced, then we go to that lower option. Okay, this is Lareb doing it, if you just see. Was <laughs> that even any good? Yeah, okay. So, if you can do that, that's a, a very advanced option. Um, and I, I personally can't, but I've got an option for anybody that the limitation is, don't look in the spot. So if mobility is a limiting factor to pistol squat like me, little technique isn't reading the book, I think it is. If you put your foot, heel on it, that will create more uh, movement at the ankle, so it will allow basically uh, falsifying uh, dorsiflexion. Ha leg out in front, <sighs> go easy on me, I'm not very good at these. <sighs> so we'll just call it one today, <laughs> one rep max. None. Just have a little breather. So then the second option is without the box, which is a lot easier, you'd be surprised. Drop your hip, get your hips above your hands or as high as you can get them above and make sure your head finishes through your hands. Okay? Just squeeze me in shot here. So um, if you if you only as high as you can reach with your tiptoes, so you want to squeeze your calves as high as you can go. So your calf is this muscle here, that's your gastrocnemius that you'll see. And you want to get as high as possible, and your ball of foot, your ball of your foot wants to be on the edge of the steps. So you want to get as high as possible, and then slowly lower the heel down, stretch the calf as much as possible, and then come as high as possible again. And we'll just repeat that for 12 reps. Now some of you may find that easy. Now to make it harder, if you drop the heel down on a single leg for 20 reps would be very, very tough. I've got two heavy water bottles. I'm fortunate to have two of these. Um, both were gifted to me. So chest up, what you're gonna do is raise up, hold for a second at the top, come down, don't go all the way down, up. And that will keep that time under tension. A lot of us are resting. Even in the gym, I would recommend resting at the bottom. Uh, unless you're really, really fatigued and you want to continue to do a few more reps. But if you rest here, the shoulders are really completely resting at this point. Whereas if you can have a second hold at the top, slow eccentric lower phase, and then bring them back up. And if you were to do that with 20 reps with two litre bottles of water, it'd start to get very sore for the medial deltoid. Okay, so the next exercise, glute bridges, very common exercise we've seen in the gym. So you're on your upper back on the floor, heels on the sofa or a raised surface, upper back on the floor, then you're gonna raise your hips to the sky, or to the ceiling in our case, and you're gonna squeeze your glutes to the top. Now, if you're coming up and there's no real glute activation, just check. If, it, if this is all soft, then you're not squeezing them hard enough, so you wanna get to the top, pause for a second at the top, and slowly come down. Now the options here to make it harder are basically you've just got to slow the tempo down. So the slower you go, the longer each rep takes, the harder it will be. So if we was to go five, four, three, two, one, squeeze, hold for a second, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, Three back down. Now the, the common mistake you see people do this, and they're really rushing through the movement, is such a small movement in of it itself. So if you don't do this with control, it will have barely any effectiveness. Okay, so 